hi friends welcome to mule 4 learn from d series of videos today we are going to discuss about uh, calling mule flow using data web all right so uh, sometime we used to receive a kind of requirement where uh, uh, we need to suppose we are we are performing some kind of uh, processing inside a transform message using data web and based on some condition in the in that particular data weave uh, we may need to call some other flow from that from the current data weave itself right so in those kind of uh, scenarios we need to uh, we need to use a function which is uh, called lookup function uh, which is available with data weave 2.0 and uh, uh, we will be using that function to call the flows uh, from call other mule flows uh, from the data weave itself all right so we are going to cover three scenarios here uh, calling the uh, flow using data weave also we will pass payload during the calling and uh, we will dynamically decide that means uh, during the processing inside a single transform message component uh, uh, based on some based on the processing uh, whatever result comes during that processing based on that uh, result we will be deciding whether to call the uh, the uh, uh, whether to call the other flow or not all right so that is what we are trying to achieve here so let's start so uh, let's directly go to the uh, anypoint studio so here as you can see i have created one mule project which is having uh, three mule configuration files one is the calculator file and then uh, the second one is the addition dot xml and then mule, uh, then multiplication dot xml right so uh, first i will uh, take you through the calculator flow so basically in the calculator flow we are using three components uh, first one is the listener it is http listener and then the logger component and the, the the third one is the transform message component right so we will go one by one in the listener configuration if we see the configuration uh, here the path i am using as slash calculate and in the listener uh, uh, listener configuration if we see the protocol we are using is http and the host name is basically referring to local host and the port number is 8081 right then in the logger i haven't uh, specifically mentioned anything uh, i have just added the component from the palette all right and in the in the transform message component here the actual uh, 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 actual processing we are about to do right so uh, let's just uh, see what i am trying to achieve here so the output i have set it to as uh, uh, application slash uh, json and uh, here as you can see i am about i am using the lookup function and this is the flow name and uh, this is the data we are about to pass during the calling right so this is the flow name addition flow so where is this flow actually defined if we go to the addition.xml file there i have mentioned this flow so as you can see the flow name is mentioned here as the addition.flow all right so this is the name which you need to mention there in, uh, during the uh, during uh, the the lookup function during calling the lookup function right so uh, in the lookup function this name should be exactly uh, matching with the with the actual flow name and uh, here uh, uh, this is the flow we are referring using this one all right and this is the data we are passing from during the calling 
and this is the timeout value all right so by default the timeout value is uh, 2000 that is basically two seconds it is it is uh, this this number is uh, the, the unit of this number is basically milliseconds so 2000 millisecond refers to uh, two seconds so here i have just increased it little bit so that is uh, 20 seconds i have mentioned uh, just for demonstration purpose and uh, also we have another flow that is the uh, the multiplication flow and if we go to the multiplication dot xml uh, there i have mentioned uh, the flow name as multiplication dot flow if you uh, multiplication flow if you follow my cursor and it is also having a transform message component uh, which is basically performing some kind of uh, multiplication okay so this is this is kind of multiplication we are performing here so whatever data or payload we are passing during the calling uh, from the caller flow to the called flow whatever pass we are passing uh, that that is uh, being received in this uh, flow in this multiplication flow and uh, this is the path i am i am using to access the elements and uh, as you see i am casting it uh, explicitly casting it to number and also uh, you need to remember that uh, as we don't have any component in the source section of this flow that means the multiplication flow is a private flow so in that case we cannot directly start with the payload we need to mention message okay so we need to explicitly mention the complete path right so it is the message dot payload dot data dot number one why it is data dot number one so let's have a look into the uh, into the calling uh, calling data weave uh, line all right so here as you can see this is the data we are passing right so this is actually going as payload to the called flow right so that would be like message dot payload dot data so inside data we have two elements uh, that is number one and which is having the value of query parameter number uh, num one and also number two is referring to the query parameter that is num two right so this is how i have mentioned it here and if you see there is some condition i have mentioned and that is uh, based on the result of this variable so this is uh, the data we variable i have used here um, addition result so uh, first we are actually trying to call uh, this addition flow whatever data we are passing uh, through our url so as you can see i am passing two query parameters one is num1 and the second one is num2 right so it is a very simple example i have taken so that uh, it, it doesn't get complex uh, uh, so that we can easily understand it right so uh, here as you can see i have mentioned the condition like uh, if the addition result is uh, is uh, actually some even number we are getting in the addition result and that result will be calculated based on the uh, processing of the addition uh, addition flow so here basically we have uh, mentioned a condition which actually checks whether the result in the addition result uh, whether the value in the addition result variable is even or not and that we are checking like this and then uh, we are uh, if the result is uh, if the value in the addition result is uh, even number then only we are calling the multiplication flow with the with the uh, payload as this with the payload as this and also here we have mentioned the uh, timeout value as 20 second so if uh, the addition result value is even then only this call would be done otherwise uh, if, if there is any odd number then we are setting the multiplication result variable as zero that is what we are trying to achieve here so uh, let us see the uh, that we whatever value we are passing uh, uh, as the query parameter in our request based on that our response will come right so let's uh, let's just uh, deploy the flow so i am about to debug it so let's just uh, 
uh, get I mean uh, let just be deployed the flow will be deployed and then we will resume so as you can see our flow has been deployed and uh, before doing the uh, before making the request I want to uh, take you through the actual uh, transformation which we are performing here in the multiplication flow so here basically whatever data we are passing we are trying to uh, multiply them and we are sending that as and we are storing that in the in, into the result variable and then we are passing that as a response same thing we are doing in the addition also uh, addition flow also uh, that is uh, the the same thing we are doing but only the operator is operator here is uh, plus right and we are storing similarly we are storing the result in the result variable uh, the addition result in the result variable and then that is uh, again uh, written as the response right so let's uh, let's just uh, put a breakpoint here uh, I have just uh, put a breakpoint here and now I am going to make the request all right so first we will try with this one uh, which will result uh, like uh, the the addition result so that the addition result come as the uh, even number and later on we, what we will do is like we will uh, change the value like this and this time uh, the the addition result uh, will come as uh, odd number and uh, in that case the multiplication flow should not be called that is what we are trying to achieve so let's just uh, make a request here so So as you can see the breakpoint is uh, now uh, there uh, at the transform message and let us just see the payload so as we haven't mentioned any kind of uh, payload uh, as this was a get request from the browser so we don't have any payload here and if we see the uh, the um, attributes uh, these are basically uh, telling where from the actual uh, request came and also these are the uh, request kind of request details and uh, the query parameters as you can see we have passed two query parameters that is the number one and number two so number one is having four as the value and number two is having uh, eight as the value right so now what we will do is uh, i will put a breakpoint here also so that whatever uh, call is made we can see that right so i'll just proceed and uh, we will see that the call has been made to the addition flow right so as you can see it is uh, the call has been made to the addition flow and the currently the breakpoint is uh, at the perform addition transform message component and if we see the uh, payload uh, the payload is uh, passed from the uh, from the data weave uh, lookup function so using lookup function we have called this flow so as you can see uh, this is the payload uh, the parent element is data and inside that we have number one and number two and the value of this number one and number two has come from the query parameters which we passed during the call right uh, during uh, 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 making the request right so now what it will do uh, this element will basically uh, basically add these two numbers that is eight plus uh, four plus eight and that is twelve so what will happen uh, it would be an even number and we will just proceed and we will see that the multiplication flow would be called again what is that okay so i think uh, 20 second has passed so that's the reason it has given some exception so let us see what is the exception so this is some exception has come and if you see that uh, timeout is uh, has been reached so 20 seconds has been reached that's the reason it has given some exception so what i, I will do i will just uh, uh, resume it and i will make another request and this is uh, nothing uh, to worry about that because the, it was the timeout so what i i am trying to make another request and this time i will just uh, proceed and if you see this is the addition flow uh, has been hit and uh, the result again we will see that the multiplication flow has been called right so uh, as we uh, said there in the transform message component of the calculator flow so there as the result has come as addition result has come as 12 that's the reason 
that's the reason the call uh, to the, uh, the 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 condition has this can the condition has resulted as true and that's the reason we have called the multiplication flow right so now what we will do we will just proceed and we will see that oh again that 20 second has reached what is all right so what i will do i will just pass it and then I will again just hit the service and then we will see that uh, the addition flow has been called and then the multiplication flow has been called and now there is no error and we will see that we have received the response. So as you can see this is the response we have received. So uh, the exception which came that is due to that uh, timeout value which I have set if I set it to suppose suppose 60 seconds uh, instead of 20 seconds then that that uh, issue will go. So uh, that is the thing. So now we have successfully received the response from our calculator flow and here it, is, it shows that the multiplication result is 32 that is 8 into 4 and the also uh, sorry 4 into 8 uh, because we passed 4 and 8 here and similarly addition result has come as like this right and uh, now the time is like uh, we have to we will make the another request that is just making it to 9 uh, and uh, we will just uh, hit enter and we will see that this time the multiplication flow would not, won't be called. So uh, the, the addition flow has been called and based on the result of the addition flow, multiplication flow has not been called because it is 4 plus 9 is 13 which is an uh, which is uh, an, odd, an odd number and as the condition didn't satisfy that's the reason the multiplication flow was not called right. So and we will see that. Uh, the result is like multiplication flow has not been called as that, that's the reason the result of the, uh, the the value of the multiplication result has come as 0 uh, but the addition result has come as 13 right so this is how we can achieve this so this was a short uh, demonstration of the lookup function uh, using which uh, we can uh, we can basically uh, call any flow and pass any kind of parameter like any any message we can pass as payload to the to the called flow and uh, also based on some condition we can decide like whether to call the flow or whether to, whether not whether to call the flow or not so th th that is the that is the uh, thing i wanted to uh, I wanted to explain here. So I hope you have understand and in case of any question, uh, please uh, uh, write into the comments and uh, also uh, if, if, if there is any suggestion, uh, just uh, let me know and uh, thank you. Uh, see you later with some new video.